Did you know that we're getting a total solar eclipse on April 8th? Of course you did. It's been making headlines for a while now. You might remember there was a total solar eclipse in 2017, but that one didn't make it to Canada, though many people did drive down to the States to catch it. No two eclipses are exactly the same, and actually some may argue that this eclipse is going to put on a better show. Why? Well, for one thing, this eclipse path is wider than the one in 2017. For that one, the path ranged from 100 kilometers to 114 kilometers wide. This year, it ranges from 108 kilometers wide to 196 kilometers wide. That means more people are actually in the path of totality. For this eclipse, it's 31.6 million people compared to 2017, where it was only 21 million people in the path of totality. Total solar eclipses can last from seconds to roughly seven minutes. On April 8th, the longest point of totality will occur in NASA's Mexico, and it will last for four minutes and 28 seconds. That's compared to 2017, where the longest point of totality was in Carbondale, Illinois, and it only lasted two minutes and 42 seconds. And finally, there's the sun itself. It's in a more active phase this year with tangled magnetic fields and gas bubbling all over. And because of that, during totality, people might be able to see solar prominences where gas is hovering above the sun thanks to a magnetic field. It makes for beautiful photos. And the corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, may also put on a stunning show. So yeah, there are a few reasons why this eclipse might outshine, you might say, 2017. Here's to clear skies.